Hi there. In this video, we're going to take a look at what's new in AnyType Desktop version 51. And this update has a lot going on, and some of it I was really surprised by. So first up is Excaladraw. Now, if you haven't heard of this plugin, it's actually a whiteboard app. Um, I first heard about it when I used the Obsidian note-taking app. And let me just go ahead and show you what this looks like. So here you can do a backslash and just start typing EX for Excaladra, and then you can select it down here. We'll put a brand new canvas here. And then um, the scrolling will take a little getting used to because you can scroll on the actual AnyType app to the far left. And then you can also scroll on the actual canvas on the Excaladra. So if you don't want to have the margins on the side of your page, you can go above the title of your page and this icon right here, you can set the layout width. And if you pull it all the way to the right, you'll get 200% and then you'll have a much bigger screen to work with. And so here on the canvas, we have some different options. There is a pencil icon number seven there. And then you have different options for the color, the stroke of your pencil and then the width of your pencil um, and then as well as the opacity. So if you start drawing here, you can do this. And I'm just using my mouse right now. So, um, yeah, really great that we can actually have uh, drawings and diagrams within the AnyType app. Now there are a few limitations at this point. So one is you can't import image files yet. So if you go over here to this um, hamburger menu right here, you'll see that uh, we don't have an option to import images. And so that is not possible yet. Uh, it may come in the future. It's also the Excaladra plugin is not available on mobile apps. So if you're looking forward to using your iPad or tablet, um, that is also not available yet. And then there are some other limitations with editing. So um, at this time, I'm not sure if that is a bug or if it will be improved a little bit later. But basically, if you have multiple people collaborating on a canvas, uh, only one person's edits are being saved at a time. So use caution if you're doing this with collaborating. But if it's just yourself uh, using the Excaladra, then you should be fine. Okay, next up, we have some changes to the manual sorting of a query or a type. And over here, under, uh, you've got filters and you've got sort. It's usually default, has a default. You can remove that default and then you can actually just now drag uh, your objects into the order that you want. And if you decide, you just start dragging without removing the sort. It will give you this little message that says, do you want to remove sorting? So remove that. And then this should stay in the same order. Next up is we now have a zoom if you have images on a page. So right here, if uh, my image is pretty small. If I hover over it, you can see there's a little icon of a magnifying glass. And you can now click on it to zoom up in or pop up. Zoom, I guess, uh, to see the image on your screen without having to open it up. And then also with this update, we have some big changes to the user interface. And so in the last iteration, version 50, there's a lot of controversy about sidebars being on the right side. Um, well, in this update, we now have both sidebars on the left side now. I am currently using 51.1. Um, you can now collapse the channel sidebar and you can also collapse the widget sidebar. And either one of them can appear if you just want widgets or if you just want your channels or spaces sidebar. Um, you can have the choice of either one now, which is really great. We've got a clock icon now at the top. So this just is your recently opened so it's anything that you've previously opened and that is different from or is it recently edited which is down here um, and also there's now an option to manage the sections here so if you click on here you can actually hide um, if you don't want to see these um, i know a lot of people don't really like seeing all the objects there so you can hide that and you can hide 
uh, pretty much everything and just have this one here if you want it super minimalist. Um, so I'll put those all back. And then um, another UI update is having the channels. You have an option if I go down to my vault settings. So if you, usually it's your picture profile. If you click on that, it has under preferences vault density. So that's referring to here. So right now I have it as compact. If you edit this to message previews, it's a little bit bigger, uh, which designates a space or the circle, which designates a chat channel. Um, either one, you'll be able to see the most recent message. Next up for chats themselves, let me go into a space. Okay, so um, with chats, since each chat is an object within your space. You now have the option to organize it just like our types and queries. So now you can organize them, add tags. You can also add different uh, views if you want. So I you know, have a Kanban view if you want to see your chats in those columns instead. Um, lots of great options for organizing however your brain loves to organize. <laughs> so if I have it um, compact, you can see, like for the any type community, there's going to be a little number here, and that designates when there are new messages in a chat. And then if you have been specifically mentioned or replied to, you'll have a little at symbol with the number of mentions or replies as well. Uh, and then you can also customize. I'm again here in my vault settings. If you're under preferences and you scroll down a bit, um, there is an option for chat that says send message with, and you have the option between enter or a control press enter. So that's helpful, especially if you are very quick to type to kind of slow you down before sending the message. Um, I do like to use this control press enter uh, when I'm in a group chat that I don't want to immediately send when I'm typing super fast and accidentally press enter. Um, there is no specific search for the messages with individual messages within a chat yet so if you select search um, you're only going to be search be able to search um, all the different objects that are in a space but you're not able to search the individual uh, messages within a chat yet but that also is coming in the future and so uh, with this update um, it just really solidifies that any type is going in a really great direction. And so I do want to call out that any type did change their membership plans. And so take a look at those and decide if you are ready to commit to having more storage space. The plans are 50% off until December 1st. And so use the code BF50.